1957 Chevrolet Corvette Convertible coming up next on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again, classic car fans and model kit builders. My name is Trevor Ursulescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Guess what we're going to look at today? Yeah, the 1957 Chevrolet Convertible. Oh yeah, yeah, you knew that because I introduced it as this. <laughs> now, Chevrolet had actually started to hop up their car by putting in some nice sculpted scoops and other great chrome features, but it's still essentially the first gen. But anyway, let's go down, open up the box and see what's in it. Now we go back to the sports car scene with the 1957 Corvette Convertible 50th Anniversary Kit by AMT Ertl. Round 2. No, not Round 2. RC2. <laughs> RCD2. Okay, anyway, we have our nice instruction sheet here with another memo to myself. Bought June... Bought June 7th, 2003 at Walmart for $4.95. But I made a note here. You can backdate it to 1956 without the fuel injection. So if you build the carburetor version, you could actually declare it's a 56. So you have to get a carburetor from somewhere, though. Because this one comes with a fuel-injected motor, which was new for 57. And that motor even ended up in some of the Bel Airs and Del Rays of the era. And there's our interior with separate side panels, which is always nice. And multi-piece wheel and tire. You have to paint on your white walls with acrylic artist paint, so they say. This doesn't have posable front steering, but it does have separate front steering. Two-piece rear axle. And of course there's our big fuel injected motor going in there, separate side aprons, and then the chassis getting the radiator put on with a four-piece radiator. Oh, that's a sway bar underneath. And then there's our body all going together and them showing you how to paint it. Huh. Hood body color do not cement, so you can take it off and look at the engine. Okay, let's see how our plastic looks. Oh, there's here's a blast from the past. You get this, and it shows you what other model cars they had in that series of the 57 or 50th anniversary Corvettes. It's 118th diecast. Uh, there's on the back the 25th scale kits, and I've got most of these. And I found that you can actually alter some of them, like the 75. You could make that as a 74, 73, you know, that sort of thing, just by backdating some of the features on them. Okay, here's our body. It's nice, clean, crisp mold, molded in a gray. Um, not very many, in fact, I don't see any, oh yeah, very light mold marks underneath, but you won't see them. Nice fuel injected thing there. You would have to sand that off to make it a 56, just to backdate it the one year. Okay, looking at our chrome tree, I always put these back in the bag so they don't scratch chrome off the other parts in the box. Not too much on here, but it's enough to decorate your Corvette in the stock configuration. So we just slip that back in. Then we have our uh, engine components. That's a neat piece there. It's the uh, one of the heating duct vents, I think, from the radiator to the motor. Front air intake, something to that effect. Quite nice. The sink marks are pretty low on this thing, which means there's not too much fussing with it to make it a nice kit. There's the individual seats and the door panels, as well as the hood and your brakes and wheels, battery, that sort of thing. The undercarriage is nice. It's not crisp detail, but it's not really soft detail. I don't know, it's sort of medium detail. But 
Very nice chassis and everything. There's the underpan. The spare tire is lying down flat. Some nice carpet detail on there. And this is a very good kit for those uh, mold release marks because there's hardly any in any place that would show. There's a front windshield and our headlights. And we've got vintage tires. These are the Firestones. Solid Firestones and there's our little two tail lights there. And then I think I added this from a Bel Air or something weird. 64 Bel Air. Just threw it in the box. The carburetor and an air cleaner. I still need a manifold though. Um, then there's the decals that come with it. A couple little Corvette ones. 57 Fuley and the 50th anniversary decal. And that brings us to the end of our review for the 57 Corvette convertible. And keep in mind that all cars. The original 50 Corvette was white, polo white with a red interior. So if you want to continue that like I once did, paint your car white, red in there, red interior. <laughs> Very cool. Well, 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 wasn't that a cool kit? And I hope you enjoyed seeing the 57 Chevrolet convertible. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel, please click over here. Check out our website, www.monster-hobbies.ca. And look at these three amazing videos where we look at other cars in our series of What's in the Box. And until next time, keep cool.